When people relinquish their dogs and cats at shelters, there's a matter of days before that dog and cat will be put down if they don't find a home. And sometimes there's 50 people at certain shelters lined up dumping their animals, dogs, cats, whatever. I really wish that the people behind the counter would say, the chances of your dog or cat making it out of here are very slim. A lot of people don't realize that when they go into a pet store to bring their kids in to see the puppies or the kittens, they don't realize that it's a very deceptive business. Deceptive business. Behind the pretty storefront is a very ugly reality. This next story is graphic. Animal control officers removed close to 50 dogs from a suspected puppy mill. Type in puppy mills and see what you get, and then go to a pet store. You won't do it. There's such a lacking in education and awareness. I spend every single spare second that I have in helping animals. I get phone calls all the time, people wanting to dump their horses. Some people might get a pony for their child. You know, when you have a horse, it's a 30-year commitment. Right now, the oldest living horse is 52, so it might even be a 52-year commitment. Having an ivory tusk mounted over your fireplace isn't impressive. It is killing the elephants in Africa. This next story is about one of the species of animals we share this planet with. The orangutan's forest habitats being being illegally slashed and burned, the plant trees that produce palm oil. If people would stop buying palm oil, this would be solved. So next time you go to a store and it says palm oil on the back, please don't buy it. It does look horrific, but this really is the only way of saving these vulnerable animals. I never ever thought I'd ever fall in love with a hyena. I work with a lot of animals that people had once thought would make an amazing pet, exotic animals. I mean, obviously we'd all like a baby chimpanzee, and that's not reality. As the years progress, it's not what's best for the chimpanzee, or me, or my family, or anybody who lives near me. The new must-have companion in the celebrity set, pigs. The year of the pot-bellied pig, you know, when everyone went and purchased pot-bellied pigs because they made such great pets. This guy will use a litter box just like a cat, smarter than dogs, easy to train. A year or two after that, the Wildlife Way Station received 147 pigs. These animals are a commitment. It's not just um, a little a little bag or a piece of clothing or a little item that you say, oh, I want this, you know, that's so cute. When the fashion is over and it's not what you thought it was going to be, they have to go somewhere, and that's where they come to us.